Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, I just did a pour the other day called Marigold Wisps, which was a beautiful 36 by 36. And in that, I used this awesome color that I had custom made, which was the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold mixed with the 24 karat gold. And it looked like marigolds to me. And I'm still kind of obsessed with this. So I'm going to be using this again tonight in a nice, beautiful ring pour. So this is my Marigold. 24 karat gold and quinacridone nickel azo gold. And I'm also very excited to pair that one with this. This is quinacridone burnt orange. We might call this painting discontinued because some of these colors are no longer being created, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm going to enjoy them while I have them. So that's our burnt orange from Golden. I'm also still in love with this one. This is Amsterdam pearl yellow, which every time I use it, I like it more and more. Beautiful stuff. This is all mixed with Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and American Floetrol. And I just want to say one thing about mixing up the pouring medium. Um, put your gel gloss in your container first and then just add a very small amount of Floetrol and stir that up until it's kind of all incorporated. And then just keep adding the Floetrol a little bit at a time. If you add the Floetrol all at once or a huge amount at once, you're just gonna get this like cottage cheese consistency that's gonna be very, very difficult to smooth out. So. Flow trial just a little bit at a time. Okay, and I also have some Amsterdam Titanium White here. And then this is a combination of Golden's Turquoise Thalo and a bunch of piggies. <laughs> um, so it does have some sparkliness to it. I also am using this as my base coat color. Some more of that, because it was my drips from this canvas that I poured last night but hated, so I scraped. So. <laughs> We're going to be using my 22 ounce split cup from Tracy Reed and you can find this one at acrylicpouringtools.com. This is the 22 ounce one. It's a five chamber split cup with a handle, which I really, really love. And this one's got my name on it, <laughs> which I absolutely love. Thank you so much, Tracy and Chris. You guys are amazing. So let's get this started. Since I'm using that turquoise as my base coat color, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the center chamber. And I really like doing that because it makes all the other colors look like they're floating on top of this background, which is beautiful. I'm going to have the burnt orange on one end. And we're going to put the marigold on the other side because those are the two colors that I want to be most prominent in this. The marigold and the burnt orange. So those go on the ends. And then I want to put that pearl yellow next to the burnt orange over there. And then we're going to use the white on this side between the marigold and the turquoise. Should be good, kind of an additional little barrier layer between those two. Okay, so our cup is ready to go. Let's move these out of the way. Pour a puddle of our base coat color. This is that same turquoise, but this one has been thinned out with water and flow troll. Not very thin though. Okay. A nice puddle in there. I'm gonna stretch that out just a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do a nice ring pour right in the center. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Didn't work out so good, so we'll just go back in and do some more. Okay. 
don't let it throw you. Right. No, I touched it right there, but that's okay. Okay, this is really pretty though. I really love the burnt orange with the marigold. That's going to be really gorgeous, and I love the white in there with the turquoise too. So this is cool. All right, let's put down more of our low extender base coat. This is looking really, really pretty. I actually really love that center. I love that little bit of marigold. Uh, okay, cool, I'm happy. All right, let's go, I guess that way first. Let's kind of see where the weight of the paint is. Somebody left me the nicest comment the other day. They said I was watching your video on mute and on double speed and it kind of looked like you were teaching the canvas to dance. <laughs> it was a really cool comment. It was really neat. Okay. Let's see, so far we haven't taken any of the pour off. We've just taken flow extender off. this side onto these two corners. I'm just going to bring it back to the center.
What do you think about leaving the corners turquoise HOA? Should we take off? I think it's a little distracting. You? Um, I like this big one that's closer to the camera. So you like that corner? I like that big one. one. The, those, I don't really care for that much. I like those lines though. If I try to take off anymore, I'm going to lose those lines. But I don't like this very much. I think I'm going to try to take off some of that. Let's see where the way the paint is lined up right there actually. So that's perfect. Just come down. I don't know why you always stop so short on the corners. To make sure that there's enough paint to go all over the place. I don't think I like that one very much. That's the top. Let me turn it around. It needs to go down a little bit. Let's take off a little tiny bit at the bottom just so we can open it up a bit. There's a lot of the marigold in there, but it's really blingy and shiny and pretty. I definitely think this is the top up here. So, interestingly, it seems like there's a lot more turquoise on this side than there is on the other side, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Is there anything going on in that wide band, band there? I don't know. I'll torch it and we'll see if any cells come up. I think I want to take off a little bit that's at the bottom first, like the solid part you were talking about. And take some of that off. And we can open up this side more. I like it. I like what's happening. There's something that, well, that turquoise is going to dry really dark, so it's really light right now, and that's kind of what's giving me pause. What about this little point? Should I take that little point off? I kind of feel like I need to. Where's the point? Cool. I think the point's cool.
actually I love what's happening up there at the top now opening it up a lot what if you uh, kept going and took that center off <laughs> should lose some of this or some of this uh this part lose some of that I love yeah. those lines though yeah well life's a series of trade-offs my love yeah that's for sure I like that. That's kind of cool looking. I think I'm going to stop there because I like everything that's happening. There is kind of a lot of that marigold color, but I like it, so I don't care. <laughs> I like the burnt orange with the marigold. I like how the turquoise is mixing. And I love this corner up here where my hand was. Those cells and those lines are just so pretty. All right, so I think that that turquoise is gonna dry pretty dark, except of course where it's like right next to the white and the pearl yellow. Um, that's cool. I like it. I really love this top part over here. That's like so pretty. And I like the center too, and I like these rings. and. I liked those lines though. All right. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see it the way that I see it. Up. So I want to open up this edge a bit. Okay. So this would definitely be the top, and that's the bottom. So that's cool. I like this gold line right here on the edge. Okay, we're going to stop there. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please give me a like and uh, leave me a comment and share if you can. Sharing the videos is a really awesome free way for you guys to help me grow the channel more organically. So, thanks for being here. We'll be right back. So this is a couple of days later and it's almost totally dry now. Not dry in the center, but around the perimeter it is, which is the only reason I haven't taken it outside because Gail is blowing <laughs> and I don't want her to knock this one off the easel while it's still a little wet. But this came out so cool. I love this section up here. I just think that's so beautiful with those little marigold cells and the turquoise and those lines made of the pearl yellow and then that turquoise and the burnt orange burnt orange dried really deep on this one very cool looking all these really pretty lines and that ring pour that kind of looks like a waterfall almost kind of cool I really like this section too where you can see all of these different colors that we got from the blending and that beautiful transparency in there Cool stuff. I hope you guys can see how shiny it is. That's one of the questions I get asked a lot is do you varnish things and usually no I don't because the gloss medium or the gel medium with the gloss in it dries very shiny and if I don't have to varnish something I'm not going to. So. <laughs> but this is looking pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, it's given me a couple of more ideas of what I want to do and what I want to play with. I would love to hear from you guys to see what you would like to see this marigold color paired with because I think it's really pretty. It's just drying so beautifully. It's nice and warm. It's a very rich kind of gold color, like especially along this edge. You can see it's not really 
orangey. I don't know. Very, very cool stuff, though. Really pretty in here. But let me know what you would like to see, if there's any color combinations you'd like to see play with with the marigold. I can do that. So this was awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate all of you so much. Uh, if you could please go and check out my Facebook page and maybe give me a like over there or a follow. And, um, you know, I would appreciate that. Also, I was checking YouTube the other day and it says only 55% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you could take a second and just hit that subscribe bell, you know, and uh, hit the like button, I would really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.